Hi, it's Kim from Expressions of the Universe with your weekly wisdom for February 6th through the 12th of 2022. And I'm going to pull cards for all zodiac signs per a reading, a client's reading from Lucille. She asked me to bring out my little black bag full of inspiration cards. And for the astrology for the week, Nothing really major is going on. All planets are direct until the very end of April. And so we are in the clear. Things should move really quickly over the next three months. But, you know, Mercury is still in its shadow. So this coming week, you know, we still have a little tensions through communications. I would be a little hesitant to move full steam ahead right away. Maybe wait until next week. Contemplate your next move. Think before you speak. Know that there will be tensions in conversations and in your relationships because, you know, Mercury is still in its shadow. But nothing, nothing big, you know, other than that. It's just going to be a little bit of a tense week. So let's pull these cards because I am doing a super quick weekly wisdom this week. I will start with Aries. Put my glasses on. So Aries. Aries. Your inspiration card is love. Love, love, love. It's all about love. It's about receiving love and giving love. Aries, sun signs, rising signs, and moons. Far sun signs, rising signs, and moons. It is about freedom. Freedom. What does freedom mean to you? Are you free? Um, what will it take for you to have freedom? Gemini, Gemini, it is purpose, finding your purpose. What is your passion? That would be your purpose. Cancers, Oh, okay. Purification for cancer. All right. It's time to do a cleanse. It's time to get rid of those demons, cancers, suns, risings, and moons. Leo. Leo, you have communication. Wow. Communication for the little lions. Roar. Roar, lions, roar. Communication also involves listening very well. It's not just about talking. All right. Virgo. Virgo gets vision. Can you see the future ahead? Can, do you have a vision that you would like to fulfill, play out? Well, Libra, Libra, it's time for you to allow your creative juices to flow, getting creative. It's all about creativity, imagining, using, using your imagination. It's how you're going to get out of your funk, being creative. Scorpio, it is about faith. It's about your beliefs and holding the faith and holding on to hope. Sagittarius, ah, Sagittarius, you got the blank wild card. So you're writing your own story. Did you want did you want an inspiration? I'll pull another one for Sag. Education, learning something new, teaching something. 
But remember, you are writing your own story. Let's put that back in. <clears throat> we'll move on to Capricorn. I haven't used this for a while. All right, Capricorns, you have integrity. Are you standing in your authenticity? Do you have integrity? Can people trust you? Do you do, are your actions matching your words and vice versa, your words matching your actions? Aquarius. For you, it is relaxation. Aquarius, it's time for you to take a little break. Yes. It's all about relaxation. Thank goodness it's the weekend. Hopefully you're not working. And last but not least, Pisces. Pisces, you have expansiveness. Expanding your mind, expanding your horizons. Expanding your beliefs, your perspective, runs the full gamut. So that, hopefully I didn't forget anybody. So this is my little black bag that I got in Salem, Massachusetts, many, 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 many years ago. Because it looked like my cat, Holy, which I guess you can't see. And as many of you know, I, um, I just want to do a big shout out and say thank you to all the people that reached out to me, sending me love and support, even a kind thought. Um, I really appreciate it because I lost Coley's sister, littermate Miss Missa this week, Miss my mystic maven Missa, who used to pull all the cards every week for all of us for the last 13 years. Um, she was 18 years old. I'm doing horrible, absolutely horrible. I'm doing the best I can. Um, you know, it comes and goes in waves and it's, you know, you get into a routine and for me, I love my animals more than I do most people, even even my human children, um, I like my animals better because they give unconditional love. They don't give you a hard time. They don't talk back. Um, they love the routine. And, you know, as long as you're good and loyal to them, they love you back. And even, even people that don't deserve animals love get it. But yeah, so it's going to be hard. And, um, but I know that I gave her such an amazing life. Any animal that comes to live here is treated like royalty and my whole entire life changes so that I can serve my animals. I think that's why it's also so hard. It's like, you know, my tub is dripping. She loved to drink out of that faucet. Um, and there's no one, the tub's dripping. There's no one there to drink it. I will say this, you know, like I knew she had been going downhill. I knew that I knew 18 would be, would be the, the year. This would be the year. So I wasn't even going to get a Christmas tree this year. And I bought one because she loved the Christmas tree. She loved laying under the tree on the skirt and just like looking up at the lights, the twinkling lights. So I made sure we had a Christmas tree because I knew it would be her last Christmas. Um, the dogs tore up her one Christmas baby that was in her stocking. They did that today. The dogs have been not eating. They haven't eaten in three days. Um, the beagle ate yesterday and he threw it up right away. I had to hand feed the schnoodle. So when I would put down, I would always feed her first and then I would put down the dog's dishes and the pup, the schnoodle, Bailey, would always allow Miss to eat a little bit of her food because, you know, grilled chicken and vegetables. And she would wait for her to be finished before she would actually go and eat her dinner. So she's not eating. Um, 
you know, the whole house is disrupted. I got her when I was in my thirties. I'm almost in my sixties. My daughter was even saying like, she was in 10th grade in high school when we got the pair and, you know, she's almost 34 years old now. And so it was a long time, but it's still, you know, it's never long enough. Family members, they were my children. Um, also, the day before she passed, we had glorious sunshine and I had the front door open. So the sun was beaming in and she laid on the runner in front of the door all day, just basking in the sun. So that's a great memory. And I gave her my last can of tuna fish um, because she hadn't been eating. That's why I knew like on Monday that it was going to be soon, but the tuna enticed her and, and the juice from the can, the water, she loved that. And, um, but she only lasted a few hours after that. So thank you all again. I'm going to go into a corner and cry. Um, I, I'm doing the best I can. And so hopefully these cards will serve as some inspiration for all of you. Um, focus on the gratitude of everything in your life that you have, that you, you know, anything that happens. That's what I do. I focus on the gratitude. Oh, and I wanted to say, <clears throat> so she passed on the 2-2-2022 two -two portal, which is extremely auspicious. And, you know, I had posted a couple things in the morning. Uh, you know, about this auspicious day. And we have all of these portals and eclipses and full moons and new moons. And I just wanted to mention that, you know, a lot of times when we see those things, we go with these expectations that like everything in our life will be fixed and oh, all these doors are going to open and new opportunities. And that is true. But when we have expectations, it actually sets us up for disappointment. So, you know, like I was excited for the 222 portal, but as the day unfolded, I just kind of went with the flow and stayed present and allowed myself to feel what was coming because whatever was showing up, that was my portal, even though it was, it ended pretty horribly, you know, in, in her passing, but there is beauty in that. So I just wanted to put that out there that, um, when we have these auspicious days, the new moon, the full moon, the portals, especially Lionsgate portal in August, you know, like the eight, eight, um, any of those double numbers. Don't set yourself up with expectations like, oh, this is going to be the new beginning of this. And you know, like set the intention. Yeah. But allow yourself to go with the flow of what shows up, stay super present Stay super grateful for whatever shows up because everything serves some sort of a higher purpose. Sometimes it takes us a little while to see what that higher purpose is. Um, and I just wanted to put that out there. So yeah, stay in gratitude and that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I have for you this week. All right. I'm going to go watch the Olympics and maybe get a nap because I haven't been sleeping. Um, love you all. Thanks again. I'll see you next week, hopefully. Good night.